Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Paul Cavanaugh Fieldhouse for game two. Admus gets loose inside and gets fouled as he's looking up to put it in. This is English against Somerville. These two teams don't know each other, even though it's the GBL championship uh, semifinal tournament. They didn't play each other this year because Somerville's only played three games. They were quarantined for a while. They're 3-0. and English is 5-0. and The one team that English didn't play from the GBL is Somerville. The winner of this moves on. Probably, I'm going to guess, against Everett. Badness makes one. It's for Dendi Francois. Where's number one? Four is Alexi Downey. Five is Jimmy Placidi to Bell. Ten is Owen Thompson. And 12 is Ian Morales for Somerville. Getting inside Thompson, looking for the wraparound. Missed the shot, but he got fouled. And he gets two at the line. He missed the first. So he's looking to match Badmus, making one of two. Missed them both. Somerville gets the rebound. They kick it out. Tough shot. The rebound up and good by Fosidi DeBell. They took a tough shot, but got the rebound and knocked it home. Well, this was three, no good. Tip back to him. Takes the shot, can't hit it. Rebounding inside, we're gonna jump ball. It'll be Somerville's basketball. St. Jean got inside to rebound the, the miss. English will go to their patented full court press. They'll double, they'll triple. And the biggest part of their game is defense. Shot clock winding down. Off the rim, no good. Rebound by Rivera. Luis Rivera is four. Three point basket by Viscano. He's 22. Kanye Wavezwa is one. Adamid Badmus is 11. Shot no good. Badmus takes the rebound away. Joshua St. Jean is five. Viscano takes it again, knocks it again. Six in a row by Viscano. Can't hit the shot, get their own rebound. Tied up for a jump ball, it'll be English's basketball. Some of them this year hasn't played a defense like English. They'll double, they'll triple. They put so much pressure on the ball. The three, no good. Say Gene hustled. Good effort, he tried to knock it off. Placide the bell. Seven to two English trying to make it a sweep here. The girls snuck out a win over Revere in the semifinal of this tournament in overtime. Shot is shot. Dipped up St. Jean with the rebound. English will force you to take those shots. But Vesma steps up. Nice pass to Badness. He got blocked and taken away by Placide 
DeBell. Francois trying to go coast to coast, got stuffed. Braziris is coming in, Badmus going out. That shrinks English a little bit. AJ Carey Marujo coming in for some of them. They threw it away, Viscano picked it off. Missed the shot. He was looking to pass it off. They tried to knock it off Viscano. It stayed in bounds. Shot no good, Viserys comes away with the rebound. Viscano kept it in play as they tried to knock it off him. Luis Rivera with the three. English has made three baskets, they're all threes. Off the rim, no good. Steps called against St. Jean. Something wrong with the mask of Posito de Bell. He has to go out. Backcourt violation. Those are the kind of problems you face when you face this defense. Zero shot, no good. Rivera took it away, it goes to the floor. Picked up by Francois. Long three point bomb, no good. Tipped up. Nice shot by Rosiris to knock it off Francois's foot. And Summer wants a timeout. All of a sudden, it's 10 to 2, the Bulldogs. Some of them led 2 to 1. English has run nine straight points, all three point baskets. Badness is back in. We've gone this far without mention. English is hoping they win this one and win tomorrow for coach Antonio Anderson, who's leading leaving to go to Springfield and coach a prep school down there. He has been magnificent here. He was a great player. People don't know, he started at Lynn English, left here, went to Tech, won a state championship, went on to college, played in the Final Four, moved on, signed a contract, had a cup of coffee in the pros, came back here in four years, he's had nine losses. Back-to-back -back state championships. And the most important product, he's been great for the kids. Zero shot, no good. Tipped by Badness out to Viscano. He's made sure his kids have done well in the classroom. He said, you don't play. Well, Vesma gets a three. It's raining threes in Somerville. <laughs> you can play if you have an F. That's not the case. Thompson gets the basket, ends a long drought.
he made sure that they got their good grades. So he's done a very good job grooming these kids to get them ready for other than basketball. A put back, no good. Tip up and good by Downey. Three point basket, Luis Rivera. Ingles keeps their streak. Every basket has been a three. Tipped away by Wavesra. He's all by himself. Nice play by Kanye Wavesra. And it's 18 to 6. They lose it out of bounds. Hingler shoots the ball well, but defense is the name of the game for the Bulldogs. You think you beat your man, you run into two or three more. They double, they triple. Lionel Rivera in the game now. Saved nicely. by Duvall. They missed another layup. Cadmus forced him to take a tough shot. They had the open layup and they missed it. Off the rim, no good. Shot clock is off. We don't need the shot clock the way this game is going. Missed another one. It's tough when you have to hurry those shots. Off the rim, no good. Try to beat the buzzer. So a big period for English. They went on a 12 nothing run after some of them took their only lead of two to one. And they built up a lead of 12. They've held some of them to six points and four of those came late. It's 18 to six English at the end of a period. St. Jean, Rosaris, both uh, Lionel Rivera, Badmus, Corvezwa, the five out there for the Bulldogs. Some of them will have the basketball. English has a 12 point lead. Mark Antonelli is the head guy for some of them. It's shut off, trying to go to the basket. Shot clock winding down. Badmus doesn't let him inside. They got to get it up. Steps called. He threw it in, but it won't count. Again, the defense doing the job. Warvesville will bring it up. Straight man to man by Somerville. Tipped and knocked out by some of them. Inside the Badmus. Steps. Easy pickings inside. English gets on the board first. They missed another they missed another easy layup. The defense forced him to take a tough shot. St. John couldn't save as they threw it out of bounds. Six baskets in that first period by English, five of them three-pointers. 
Somerville held the three baskets. In and out. Lionel Rivera with the rebound. Inside the Badmus. Lionel Rivera strong to the basket, missed the layup. They saved it right to Viscano. Taken away by Badmus as he tried to go to the basket. Three points short, way off the mark. Viscano out front. He waited a little too long to give it to Badmus. Badmus is open. They waited a little too long to make the pass. Some of them picked it off. Shot no good. Basmus tipped it away, but right to Somerville. Three point shot by Thompson, the first trifecta. Inside the Badmus, he's got a big advantage. Lyle Rivera. We're down the out of the game. Badmus has a huge advantage inside, but he gave it up. Rivera missed the shot. Another three-point basket. Kerry Mar Marujo. Well, Vesua had it blocked and taken away. Some of them making a little bit of a comeback. A six to two run has shrunk the game to eight. Shot, no good. Rivera. They knock it off. Lionel Rivera. Lewis Rivera settling for that three on the break. A long three. And English all of a sudden has gone cold offensively. Zion Taylor is in the ball game for English. Blocked from behind by Biscano. Taken away. Rivera gives it to Taylor, he lays it in. The defense getting it done again. Biscano started it with the takeaway. Blocked and taken away again. Rivera walks in. So Solo made a little bit of a run. Now it's English getting a run. And the lead is back to 12. 6-6 six, six, this first half of the second period. The last couple coming off takeaways by the English defense that really drive you crazy with that double tripling. You think you beat your man and all of a sudden you're being doubled, tripled. You turn the ball over. They get there inside with their big guys, Badmus and St. Jean. They've, some of those missed a few easy layups because they've all made them alter their shots. Looking like they're gonna block them and force them to hurry him. And they've missed easy shots. Look like they were making a little bit of a comeback. Now the lead is back to 12, which is where it was at the end of the period. Just past the halfway mark, 3.54 left in this first half. The winner plays, I'm guessing, Everett in the first ever Greater Boston League tournament final.
Thompson will put it in play. Downey is back in for Somerville. Again, taken away. Piscano with the follow, missed the easy layup. Benmus knocked it loose. Out in front. Proceed to Bell. Got the layup. St. Jean missed the shot, good defense. They tie up Downey, and that's what happens. You think you beat one man, all of a sudden you're going up against two or three. English gets the ball on the turnover with the jump ball. Inside, Badmus had it trying to go to the basket. He lost it off the dribble. Three-point basket by Taylor. He's come off the bench to give him five. English has the biggest lead of 13. They almost lost it inside. They missed the shot. English almost threw it away. Shot no good. English hurrying that one a little bit. Another one, they beat them in, but they get picked up. Thompson commits the foul. Back-to-back -back state championships. 5-0 in this GBL competition, and most of it has been the defense. They double, they triple. People like to dribble one-on-one. -on -one. They figure they beat them in, but they're running right into two, one or two more, and they turn the ball over, and that's what some of us doing here. Missing layups, turning the ball over. St. Jean gets on the board with a free throw. Another tough shot. The basket counts. Nice job by Owen Thompson. St. Jean made him take a top shot falling away. He kissed it off the glass. Got fouled, he's looking for a three-point play. So the period right now is dead even, point-wise. Thompson gets his seventh point of this second period. Piscano down the lane. Somehow squeezed it off and got it in. He had a clear lane all the way in. There it is. That is exactly how you break the puck. Right? Somebody's open. There he is. Put that down. You gotta hit it. It's taken away. That's the backside of the defense taking it away. They missed the shot. Off the rim, no good. Nice box out by Taylor. Rivera got bump on behind, but no call. Under a minute left in his first half.
Shot clock winding down. Off the rim, no good. They got the shot off, they get the ball back. Shot clock is virtually off. We're gonna foul against English. Only the fourth time, English has two fouls to waste. They could foul and end the half without putting Somerville at the line. Eleven ticks left on the clock. They got stuck. English took it away. Vescano gets the basket. Somerville had the basketball with a chance to take the last shot, and it winds up with English scoring at the buzzer and building up a big 15-point lead at halftime. The defense getting it done for the Bulldogs, as it has all year long in the last two years, winning them two state championships. 32-17 English at halftime. Just about set to start the second half. English has held Sonnenwald to 17 points while putting up 32. And Sonnenwald had a chance to get the last shot. They turned it over and Viscano got the basket at the buzzer to push it to 15. Badness, Vavesua, Viscano, St. Jean, and Luis Rivera out there. English now in a zone. Three point shot, no good. Tipped away. They forced him to take a tough shot, missed the rim, threw it off the backboard. Off the rim, no good. Tipped up. Padma strong to the basket, lays it in and gets fouled. He was in the right place at the right time. Sonneville took a tough shot, hit the backboard. Rivera's three off, bounced right in the lap of Badmus. Strong to the basket, looking for a three-point play. English going full court pressure. They take it away. Badmus out front, lays it in. From Viscano, four in a row by Badness. And all of a sudden the lead is 19. Somerville can't get into any kind of offense. Shot, no good. They're getting one shot at the basket. If that. Piscano shot, no good. They had to pull it out, too much mustard on the pass. Picked off by Rivera. Walks in for the easy layup. Somerville needs a timeout. English a quick six, nothing, and it's a 21 point lead. Somerville hurrying their shots, turning the ball over, taking tough shots. English taking advantage. Four quick points by Badness, the last steal and basket by Rivera. They've got a lot of points off steals, off the defense. And Somerville is missing shots and taking some very tough shots. We mentioned English trying to make it a sweep. The girls had to go to overtime to beat a resilient Revere Patriots girls team, but they wound up winning by five, or seven, excuse me. 
outscoring Revere seven nothing in the overtime. Now the boys are trying to get there and make it an all English final here at Paul Cavanaugh Fieldhouse. And another turnover. Somerville just can't get into any kind of smooth offense. Piscano outside. A clear lane to the basket, missed the shot, and he commits the foul. At the last minute, Somerville stepped in and forced him to take a tough layup, left-handed. He missed it. Looked like he had clear sailing. They turn it over again. Shot no good by St. Jean. Blocked by St. Jean. They go to the floor. St. Jean takes it away, gets it to Badmus. He lost it. And now they try to throw it. Underneath, it got kicked away by St. Jean. Sambo putting the ball on the floor again, but didn't pay for it that time, but they paid dearly all game long. <laughs> Downey, their big guy, has played most of the game way outside. Shot clock winding down again. St. Jean got a piece of the shot. Badmus inside, blocked by Downey. Good defense by Downey inside. Shot by Morales. Took him almost half the period to get their first basket. Piscano missed the easy layup. The pick and roll worked to perfection, except they didn't put the ball in the basket. Now it's tipped away by Rivera. Piscano lost it. Missed the shot again. He got stuck inside, doubling up. They turned the ball over with the jump ball. Just past the halfway mark. Solo got 17 points in the first half, six points in the first period. They've got two points in the better part of this first half of the third period. And English has doubled up on them, 38 to 19. They had the lead to 21 with the 6 0 start here in the third period. Morales finally hit that jumper from the corner to get Sumble on the board. 348 left. English trying to send their coach, Antonio Anderson, out on a high note with their first ever trip in the GBL. They played these teams. The GBL came into the Northeastern Conference a few years ago, and they played in all sports, with the exception of Everett playing an independent football schedule. And then they were voted out. As soon as they voted Everett into the football schedule, they voted everybody out. They went back to the GBL. Revere, who came into the Northeastern Conference from the GBL, has gone back to the GBL. Now they're joined by English and Classical. English wants a timeout. So English and Classical will be going with the GBL from now on, dropping the Northeastern Conference.
Chelsea is also going into the GBL League. There's talk of maybe Cambridge Rins coming back. And it would be the biggest league in the state. They're about to be the biggest league in the state anyway. Abdul Bar, wearing number 35, is coming in the game for English. Along with Lionel Rivera. Rivera. Luis Rivera. And Viscano stay out there. St. Jean and Bat must get a rest. English with the basketball and a 19 point lead here in the third period. It's a wacky year. English classical. Lefty no good, but right there to fall, it missed a shot. You can't get any easier than that. Bach could have almost stuffed that home. Rivera missed a shot. The only one on the right side of the basket was Ba, and he just flat out missed the gimme. St. Mary's and Tech will be starting the middle of this month, this being April Fool's Day, the middle of this month, they'll be starting baseball and softball, English and classical, Lefty, no good, he took steps. English and classical in the GBL League will be getting into soccer and football. From dead in the corner, off the side of the backboard, Rivera beats him to the basketball, gives it to brother Lionel. Piscano almost lost it. Oviso with the long three, knocks it down. His second trifecta. And the lead is 22 as they knock it away from Downey. Shot clock winding down again. Top shot going to the basket. Taken away by English. Left handed by Lionel falling away. Top shot. You can take those when you're up 22. Downey, no good. They can't hit that shot. Taylor is coming back. Bring us along with Badmus. Somerville still only has one basket in the period. Tough shot, but he gets it to go, Francois. His first basket. Wide open by, he walked. He was wide open to go to the basket and he took extra steps. <laughs> Tip, knocked away, taken away by Taylor, another turnover. Again, going one on one. But winding up getting doubled and tripled. Badness with the hook. Under a minute left. This one has been over for a while. Somerville has to go full court and they have to go full speed ahead. They can't slow it down. The defense forces them the up tempo. 
Bad miss with another hook. He's got eight in the period. He's got eight. Some of us got four. With 20 seconds left. Somerville, I don't think, has ever played at this pace. Got no good. Badmus saved it. St. Jean trying to go to the basket. They call Somerville for the foul. Five seconds left. Somerville has 21 points in three periods. And that's getting 11 in the second period. Missed the free throw. Makes that one. At the buzzer, no good. So someone winds up with four points in a total of 10 points in two periods, six in the first period, four in the third period, 21 for three periods. English out 25 lead with eight minutes left. So English has got themselves a spot in the league final some of us are going to lose their first game, but it's 46 21 English at the end of three. We start the last eight minutes. Some of them only has two players with more than one basket. One of those is Thompson with eight, but he got all of them in the first half. Six of them in the second period. He got six of some of those 11. Missed the layup. They forced him to take another tough shot. Came up short. They try to give it back to St. Jean. Misfired. Briscano blocked the shot, but he got a piece of Francois. He'll be at the line for two. And for the first time in Four periods, Sumble can get on the board first. In and out, Piscano comes away with the rebound. Piscano, Lewis, Rivera, Taylor. Badmus and St. Jean, the five out there. Inside the Badmus. Missed it, gets his own rebound. Back up, missed it again. Piscano takes it away. Threw it high off the glass. Down he got shut off. They go inside, they lost it. And we're going to get a foul, I think, against Somerville. Somerville dove on top of St. Jean. They go one, two, two, full court pressure. They handle it very easily. Piscano takes the shot, no good. Initially, the athletic director said, well, again, they force him to take a tough shot. Downey, that's only his second basket. He got one in the first period. He's their big man out there, and he's got four points. He takes it away and throws it away. <laughs> Taylor shot, no good.
I started to say the Anthrax was this voted initially that if you lose, you're out, but if, if the teams want to keep playing, they could schedule games against each other. Then they said, we're not going to do that. I'm sure some of them may do it anyway. Badmus forced them to take a tough shot and air ball. Taylor with another three. English settling now for first shot. Three minutes into this fourth and final period. English are gonna sweep. Boys and girls will be in the final as the shot is no good. Badmus bringing it down. Gives it to St. Jean. He was gonna try and flush it. He got away with a travel. He was gonna try and flush it. They found him. He'll get two at the line. Takes the first. Gets English on the board. That's their first point in the fourth period. But they have enough. Missed it. Tipped right back to him. And he lays it in. Rivera tipped it right back to St. Jean. And they've doubled up plus one. And again, Francois trying to go coast to coast. He can beat one, but then he's going to run into Badness and St. Jean under the basket and be forced to take a very tough shot. Again, tough shot with St. Jean with the defense. That, that was supposed to be a pass to Badness. St. Jean stepped out of bounds. That was supposed to be a pass to Badness, but it hit the rim and bounced out. St. Jean come over and blocked the shot, but Rivera fouled underneath. And Poshidi DeBell will go to the line for two. Missed the first. Lionel Rivera will come in, St. Jean will go out. So bad miss, the only big guy really Four guards on the floor for English. Missed it again. Rivera kicks it out. Back to Ovesma for three. Knocks it down. His third trifecta. They have to do everything rapid fire. We're going to get a foul. I think it's going to be a push off. That rebound was far too easy for Placide to Bell. English can push the lead to 30 if they score. Tipped up. Somerville comes away with it. Down, he going to the basket, got hit. That's the limit for English. Someone will be shooting free throws the rest of the way. Buscano's coming back. 
Taylor's going out. They've held down here the big guy to two baskets, one in each half. Three point basket. Corey Marujo. That's his second trifecta. Well, Vesla tried to answer back and throws an air ball. We're going to get a timeout. 242, this one has been over for a while. They held some of them to four points in that third period. While putting up 14. So 14 is not a huge period for point, point wise, but it is when you hold the other team to four. As I said, some of them got 10 points in the first and third period, six in the first, four in the third. They only had 11, they only had 21 points at the end of three, and they've only got six points so far here in this fourth and final period. Fifty two to twenty seven. Shot no good. Lionel Rivera comes up with the rebound. He takes the long three. English just settling for the first shot they get. Big, nice pass inside, they missed another layup. And now we're gonna get a foul. The up-tempo has really bothered some of them. They're, they're going at a, a pace they're not really used to, and it's causing them to miss layups, make turnovers, turn the ball over. They missed another free throw. He makes one. That's Thompson's first point in the second half. He got eight in the first half. Christian Clark is in the game for English now. Great play by Lionel Rivera. He missed it, got his own rebound and laid it in. A minute and a half and counting. Some of them still has four of their regulars on the floor. Off the rim, no good. Lionel Rivera comes away with it. France Tamar, number 15, is on the floor for the Bulldogs. Underhand layup blocked by Downey. The foul will be on Downey. We're under a minute left. Some of them needs three points to get double digits in this fourth period. They need a basket to get 30. Lionel Rivera misses, and some of them will now go to their bench. Disappointing end of the season. They only got to play three games together. Virus really spoiled the season 
for the Highlanders. No good, he gets his own rebound. Ah, oh, missed the layup. And it got knocked out by Somerville. Rosiris outside. Long three point bomb. Shot clock is just about off. Four second difference. Oh, another great effort by the Bulldogs, defensively, offensively. He tried to go inside, blocked. Now it's taken away by Rivera. I don't, English will just hold the basketball. They're gonna hold. 11 points in the second half for Somerville. They only got six points in the first period. They wind up with 28. English wins the game 54 to 28. Thompson had nine points. He got eight in the first half, six in the second period. He was the leading scorer. Only one other player for Somerville got more than one basket. For English, Rivera had two. Wavesma had 11. Lewis, that was Lionel Rivera. Lewis Rivera had 10. St. Jean had two, had five. Badness had 11. Taylor had five. Viscano had 10. English got out quickly. They built up a lead at the end of one of 12. They had a six nothing run to start the third period to get it to 22. And it wound up at 26. English wins it. They'll be in the final. We're guessing against Everett. Somerville will finish the season at three and one. English will go to five, uh, excuse me, six and O, oh, and will be an all English final, boys and girls, Saturday morning here at the Paul Cavanaugh Fieldhouse. So Antonio Anderson gets to coach one more game for the English Bulldogs as they win it here over Somerville, 54 to 28 in this, the semifinal of the Greater Boston Tournament. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm Don Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.